Welcome to the lab tour of IBS CCES. This center has been launched eight years ago under the research program of IBS. During eight years, we have built comprehensive experiment setups for our research goal. The sample synthesis, characterization, device fabrication, low temperature and optical measurement systems are all located on the fourth floor of building 19. At the basement of building 19, we are building CCES ISSP joint lab. Time-resolved RPES and SHG systems are currently under construction. Furnace and helium liquefier rooms are also located at the same floor. The student and researcher office are located at building 18, directly connected to building 19. As a last, in-situ RPES cluster, laser RPES and quantum gas simulation machines are located at building 22 and 23. Besides the experimental groups, we also have the independent theory groups. They perform various calculations. Our infrastructure enhances the collaboration between experiment and theory. Our in-house computing systems helps with the DFT calculations. Now let's explore our experimental laboratories. Our center has built a comprehensive sample synthesis system, which can cover the wide range of materials from single crystal to thin films and device. This room is single crystal growth wrap. We have several systems for synthesizing strongly correlated materials. This Chokras key crystal growth system can produce bulk single crystals of a wide range of electronic and optical materials. In addition, the complex sized furnaces are relatively convenient to grow small size crystals and solid state correlated materials. Now let's move on to the pulse laser deposition lab. Our center has five PLD machines, four are located in this room, and they are specialized for growing high quality oxide thin films. The other machine is part of the in situ RPS cluster, which will be introduced later. In order to avoid cross contamination, each chambers are designated for specific materials. For efficiency, two PLD machines are sharing one eczema laser. Moreover, all chambers have high pressure read to monitor and control the growth. Some chambers have IR laser heater, which can reach high temperatures rapidly. We also have in situ ellipsometer to characterize the film during the growth. With this cutting edge facility, we have the capability to grow challenging oxides in films like pyrochlor iridates, superconducting rutinates, and complex oxide heterostructures. We have own cooling room to fabricate devices right next to the PLD room. This room has mask aligner, ion miller, and even evaporator. In order to make maintenance efficient, all these equipments are managed by our technical support team. Due to high demand from external researchers to use our facility, technical support team assists them to run and reserve the equipment. As grown samples can be characterized in our microscopy lab. We have a Cypher AFM, which can perform advanced measurements like conductivity mapping, PFM, and lateral force AFM. X-ray crystal characterization is also possible with our Bruker D8. This diffractometer has a rotating anode that provides high intensity X-ray beam. Therefore, many external users are interested in performing characterization process with our high-end AFM and XRD equipments. Now let's move on to sample measurement systems. We have various low temperature equipments. PPMS and MPMS machines are measuring many samples day and night. In order to measure subtle magnetic properties, Moog is setting up with PPMS machines. We also have Oxford Instruments cryogen-free Teslatron, which can reach 14 Tesla at 1.5 Kelvin. The Cryostat also provides plenty of sample space with a diameter of 50 mm, giving our measurement scheme a large flexibility for future modifications. A diversion refrigerator and quantum sensor are planned to be installed. They will be used in this extremely low temperature and high magnetic field environments. Compact measurements down to 4 Kelvin are also capable with Montana S100 cryostats with its unique viewports allowing simultaneous electrical and optical measurements. To meet the helium consumption for the low temperature measurements, we are recycling all helium in Building 19 with own liquefier managed by our technical support team. Among our experimental techniques, optical measurements are a focal point of our center. 
Using ellipsometry and spectroscopy, we can characterize the samples over a wide range of wavelengths, from infrared to ultraviolet. Terahertz measurements are also possible in our center. Combined with optical pump probe, we can observe the electron phonon dynamics of correlated materials. Since 2016, the ARPES group has been constructing an in situ ARPES cluster. This cluster consists of two ARPES systems, a preparation chamber, MBE, and PLD. Each system is connected by UFO chamber with ultra high vacuum condition. This allows samples to be transferred between each system without surface contamination. We have PLD and MBE systems for growing oxide and calcogenide thin films. Using the MBE PLD combined system, connected in ultra high vacuum conditions, we are able to grow high quality oxide van der Waals heterostructures. In spin ARPES system, we can conduct spin resolved ARPES and XPS measurements. We can apply weak static magnetic fields in ARPES chamber by introducing a magnet to align spins of a ferromagnetic sample. Magnetized samples are measured by spin resolved RPES, directly allowing us to investigate the interplay between spins and other electronic properties. In our second RPES system, a piezo holder can be used to apply mechanical strain. In addition, alkali metals and CO2 gas can be evaporated on the surface of a sample in this chamber to measure the change of the electronic structure accordingly. To sum up, our RPES cluster consists of two RPES systems, MBE, PLD. All these are connected through a UHV transfer system. We can grow various thin films using PLD and MB, and the electronic structure of these thin films can be measured under various experimental conditions. In addition to ARPES cluster system, we constructed a laser-based ARPES system. This system consists of laser ARPES and glove box, an institute transfer system. In Globebox, we exfoliate 2D materials to make them monolayer. This monolayer sample can be transferred to the laser ARPES chamber without being exposed to the air. In order to conduct the study of exfoliated systems, we employ a small beam spot size and higher energy resolution as well as spontaneous measurements of 2D volume zone without sample rotation. Next, we introduce our quantum gas simulation team. Here, we use an ultra-high vacuum chamber and diverse lasers to trap and cool atom gas into a strongly correlated state. We generate a hot atomic beam and transfer the atoms to a main chamber, where their temperature is lowered to a few tens of microkelvin using lasers of Siemens lower and magneto-optical trap. Then, the atoms are further cooled to a few hundred nanokelvin using evaporative cooling technique in magnetic trap and optical dipole trap. Ultra-cold quantum gases can be used to simulate Hamiltonians of strongly correlated systems in a controlled manner without defects typically present in real solid systems. When bosonic atoms are cold, they form a Bose-Einstein condensate, whereas fermion atoms become degenerate Fermi gas. Depending on the species of atoms, different kinds of Hamiltonians can be studied because each atom's property like a mass, nuclear spin, and chemical group can affect the Hamiltonians. In our team, we study sodium, lithium, and ytterbium quantum gases. Now let's move to ISSP-CCES Joint Research Laboratory. A signing ceremony between CCES and ISSP took place on April 19, 2019. Starting with the time-resolved RPS system transfer, Joint Lab will carry out our collaboration research. Here is the Joint Research Lab. The REV is designed to accommodate high power femtosecond lasers with following laser systems available in the REV. These are the high power femtosecond lasers. Their output energies are 1.5 electron volt and 6 electron volt. This RPS system is manually optimized for low photon energy like 6 electron volt with 10 milli electron volt energy resolution. The second harmony generation system with a compact fiber laser is available for experiments. This beam rotation method is highly desirable to configure the full susceptibility tensor. Eventually, another laser RPS and Raman system will be constructed. With the support from IBS, our center has built this world-reading research environment. 
80 members are working and finding new scientific advancement in this center. In order to maintain and extend our ability, support from IBS is still essential and important.